I hate that song. Power of the ancient Nord art. Believe, believe the dragonborn comes. It wasn't that Frida mentioned my parents. It was how she said it. So proud. So enlightened. I can hardly remember their words, no matter their expressions. Proud. I need some sleep. Leg Elf. <laughs> Just the name I want to wake up to. The skeever who shorted me a hundred septums after the mine. If we're going to wake up with each other every day, I'm going to give you names. You are Leg Elf. And you are Skull. My two favorite citizens of Dawnstar. Animals in the pale don't need a reason to attack Dawnstar. Animal attacks. I gotta get up. I hate that Dagon song. There's enough real things in this world to be occupied with. Good morning, Miss Frida. Well, if I'm ever in Falkreath, I'll look your friend's nephew up. <laughs> I don't know what kind of powerful men Frida thinks she knows. Good morning. I'm just one of the miners. I don't want any trouble. Hey, Thorin. My room's free. Thanks. Carl? You're up early. Or have you not went to sleep yet? Can't sleep well no matter how much drink I put in me. Just take it one day at a time, buddy. One day at a time. Mm -hmm. Take it easy, man. Another cold morning. Good morning, Dad. I helped this old woman retrieve a ring from her dead husband. She seemed quite happy to have it back. She told me that you guys would be proud of me. I really hope you are. <laughs> I'm still killing bandits. I know you wouldn't approve if I was hunting them down, but they occupied a fort right in the middle of the main road. And they had some poor soul hang from a cage to the top of the fort. I took their hearts like Golem taught me. I can still feel them. So much for settling down to a peaceful life, huh? I guess I better get my day started. Talk to you later, Dad. Someone's camping on the edge of town. It's kind of cold to be camping. Good morning! You guys mind if I use your fire to warm up? I'm already getting a little cold. Ah, that's better. Who are you guys? Can't even see you. Khajiit. Morning. I haven't seen a Khajiit since. Since my brother's at the orphanage. I wish I had your eyesight. Oh. Good morning, sir. I didn't see you there. Give me a second. Ma'am, I'm sorry. I can't see so half as... So many refuse to talk to us. They call us thieves and smugglers. I am glad to see that you are not such a one. How can I call you something when I don't even know you? There is a lot of racism up here, huh? Sounds like you guys have had some trouble with the locals. Mostly, it is the Nords. They do not like outsiders in their land. And so we are forbidden to enter their cities. When they look upon us, they see only pickpockets and skooma dealers. It is most unfair. But we do our best to ignore them. I suppose it's all you can do. How long have you guys been up here, in this fine, frigid country? <laughs> Skyrim isn't the warmest place. Temperature or people. Not long in truth. I came to Skyrim after I found myself unwelcome in both elsewhere and Cyrodiil. 
I seem to have an unfortunate talent for getting myself involved in misunderstandings with the law. <laughs> Rassad was able to look past that. And it was he who helped to set me up with a trade caravan. Now I work for him. Well, perhaps your trade caravan could do with some more goods. I have a lot of gear I peeled off some bandits yesterday. What do you have? Take a look. <laughs> so everyone thinks they're skooma dealers and thieves, huh? <laughs> no thank you. What kind of goods you have back there that might make someone think you're a thief? Uh-huh. Now those, I will take all of. It's nice to have some extra septums. Thank you, Akari. Never know when a pick will come in handy. How about you have a gander at my wares now? All kinds of armor and gloves and hoods. That's a fair price. Yeah. That pack matches the rest of my gear. I already have one, but... Throw it in there, would ya? I'll take that off your hands. I suppose that'll do it, my new friend. May your road lead you to one sands. I hope it does. May yours as well. Those are some really nice people. Everyone has to make a living, right? Come, come and see what good I Ah, the miners are finally making their way out for their daily duties. Leg elf. Let's see if I can't cut up the rest of these rough gems. Now that I know I'll have someone to buy them, it'll be worth the effort. first gem I ever polished was one of Dad's. He cut them, I cleaned them. As he worked, he said, cut out their hatred like you cut out these stones. Then polish them off like our closeted bones. <laughs> that man had a saying for everything. He was a good dad. For the little time that I had him. I've been here for more than a few days already and I'm still hustling to just get by. I'm already getting cold again. I should put my hood back on. I need to find some real work. Something steady. Now let's see about this pack. Another go them trick. Weave the threads around the amulet, and a partial blessing should infuse with the pack in turn. Good old battle mage. <laughs> Only one divine can bless you at one time, but the divine can bless the bag. The bag will bless me when I wear another amulet if I ever find one. Oh, to insult the gods by wearing their blessings and not truly believing. <laughs> I know who will have work. Uh, gonna make a deal with another skeever. Want a guard? Making deals with the Daedra. How long did I sleep? It's not morning. Holy crap! It's night time. Carl must think I'm the one who's drinking. I must have slept all day. <laughs> wow. Oh, uh, good evening, guard. Not morning. How you doing tonight? You look a little worried there. I fear the night, because werewolves and vampires don't. I've never seen a werewolf. I sure have seen vampires, and they definitely don't fear the night. Be brave, good sir. Take it easy. <laughs> the oblivion. It's nighttime. I was wondering why the sun wasn't rising. <laughs> oh, I'm crazy. Ah, even crazier to go talk to this guy. Hello? Hello? Everyone must be sleeping. Day gone. I slept the entire day. Hello? Court wizard? It's me, Paxton. I bought a book from you the other day. Still haven't learned how to use it, right? Well, I'm wide awake. They have a map of all of Skyrim. Looks like these red flags represent the Imperials. And the blue ones are storm cloaks. Huh. Is someone awake? Hello? Maybe one of them's just laying down. 
Maybe the house Carl's still awake. Let's see if I can't uh, catch him before he starts to snooze. Um. Hello. Uh, house Carl, are you in here? I was hoping that. Whoa, oh, sorry. Up, oh, sorry. Oh. Ooh. Well, that was awkward. <sighs> That's no way to make friends. Maybe I'll just kill some time here. <laughs> Practice my marksmanship. <laughs> right in the face. I am kind of close, though. <laughs> well, I'll have an evening of archery practice. <clears throat> Could always do with a little brushing up. It's nice when you shoot an arrow and know you're getting them all back. It's one of the things I really miss about my campsite. I could practice all day on my targets. Looks like they're finally waking up. Well, how about that for punctuality and coordination? Oh, Frank, I have an order of swords and armor from the local blacksmith coming in. I need every piece polished to a fine shine. Yes, my lord. We could hardly waste anyone else's precious time on such a tedious <laughs> task. Exactly, Bullfrank. You always know your place. Well, I don't want to be a steward, that's for sure. Um... Hey, excuse me there. I'm still sore about last night, huh? Sorry about that. Poised for glory, Yod. The Empire will never take Dawnstar while every last man, woman, and child here draws breath. With respect, Jarl, you can't ask everyone to throw themselves against trained legionnaires. Let's leave the fighting to the Stormcloaks. You're right. Why dilute the glory with too many souls fighting over it? We'll drive out the Empire and be celebrated as heroes when we win. If we win, this war's gonna drag on for years, I can feel it. We need to prepare for a long struggle ahead. Enough of your dire predictions. We will talk about this another time. The Oblivion was I thinking. I don't work for that guy if he's threatening to chop off my hands and feet. Morning. Tired of Skull too, huh? <laughs> I couldn't listen to him any longer either. <sighs> now what am I going to do? I need to find some kind of work. Morning. Maybe I'll be a guard. Maybe I'll follow him. Right. Guard. <sighs> I have enough money to last me for a few more days at least, but... Who's that? <laughs> Maybe I'll ask this kid for some work. Maybe I could be his helper. Good morning there, young man. <sighs> All I'd probably be doing is stepping on his toes. Could never keep up with that kid. The caravan. Maybe these guys will have some work for... Who's that? Someone's sneaking around their camp. Khajiit, wake up! Someone's sneaking around your camp behind you! Wake up! To the bandit? They have a dog! I'll take the dog! Or not. What the?! What kind of dog is that?! That takes care of that. The Oblivion? Vampires? Vampires attacking Dawnstar? I've never even heard of them coming around towns or villages. I stood there, in the frigid air, shiverless from the cold, but shivering from what laid before me. 
I wanted to carve out the heart of the next vampire that I could find. Rage coursed through my veins, yet all I wanted to do was sob. My father wouldn't approve of my emotion. He was not a vengeful man. So like the rough gems that I cut and polished only hours earlier, I told myself that I would cut out and polish off this hatred. I've told myself a great many things. I didn't always live up to them. I came to this place to start a new life, to honor my father. And these cretins of oblivion, they... Father, I, I need your guidance. I had never seen a vampire before or after you guys. I know I am better than those I loathe. At least I think I am. What do I do? I am filled with nothing but anger. I am Paxton. Peace. That is what you named me and that is what I try to seek. I am trying so hard to follow your lessons. Yours, mother's and Vija's. I... <sighs> I tell you, I tell you, the dragonborn comes. I tell you to shut up! Can't you sing another God's damn song? I took a ring and some ashes from the body. I took a tooth from the dog. All that I could see was gone. I think it's about time I learned that book. Come on, Maggie. It's been a long time, old girl. Ah. Oops. The next time I see a vampire. I don't know if I can stay here any longer. You should go, Maggie. I'll see you soon. I'm sorry for yelling. Thoring, I... I may be back, I'm not sure. Feel free to rent my room if you need to. Every day you stare at me. If you have something to say, say it. Another afternoon. left. I wouldn't blame them. I was hoping that they would take me with them. They God. I don't even know where I would go. A long road was laid out before me. When my feet would travel it, and to where, I did not know. In Dawnstar, I was supposed to find myself. For at least the moment, I was again lost. Some moments pass faster than others. Some longer. I've been looking for you. Excuse me? That's something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. What do you have? Let's see here. I've got a letter and a lot of gold. Something about it being your, uh, oh, inheritance. Inheritance? Oh, and... Sorry for your loss. Looks like that's it. Got to go. My loss? I don't know anyone to lose. The oblivion is this. Paxton, in the name of Jarl Skald, it is with great regret that we inform you of Legalf's death. Legalf the Skeever? The guy? A measure of inheritance and the amount of a hundred gold pieces? That's exactly what he owed me. Blah, 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 the trusted courier for deliverance. 
While all the Jarl's court grieves with you on this day, we rejoice in the knowledge that the deceased was in possession of dear friends and wealth to communicate unto them. May this lawfully bestowed inheritance prove as a reminder of your enduring faith in one another? I seen him last night before I went to the Jarl's. I thought he was up early, but he was working late because I slept all day and... The vampire must have killed him before it went to attack the Khajiit. Son of a worker! There I am talking bad about the guy all day. He must have wrote down everything he owed to someone in the will and must have had the courier service ready to deliver it if he ever died. Have you seen Lego? If I get him, he rests soon. I'll count myself richer than a king. I'll take that as a no. Holy divines. I kept talking bad about the guy. These vampires. I need a drink. I appreciate you sitting here listening to me. Not that you wouldn't. Just want more of my septums. I hadn't seen vampires since they killed my mother and father. When I seen them the other night, I just... I went right back there. It's like I was a kid all over again. And then I kept talking bad about Leg Elf. <laughs> and that same day, God Vampire killed him. The one that attacked the Khajiit, like I told you. And here I am spending the septums that he gave me that he owed me to you. Uh, I'm sorry for rambling. Like I said, I don't drink much. I ever tell you why I came to Dawnstar? My father was burned right outside, right on that little lighthouse you guys have at the beginning of the bay. There used to be a pyre on it. And burned the dead there who were too poor to afford a burial. I just wanted to say goodbye to him officially. That skeever skull that had me hauled off to rift him before I could. I was hoping to start a peaceful life. You know that's what my name packs and it stands for, right? Peace. My mother, she was a priestess of Mara. She thought naming me Paxton would help set me on the right path. <laughs> I need to get some air. I'll talk to you later, Thorne. Thanks again for listening. At least this cold is good for something. You can always clear your head. Alizen? Alizen, wait! Where are you going? Alizen, there could be vampires out! Alizen? Where... did he go? I swore... Now I'm seeing things. Vija told me anxiety and trauma could do that to you. Storm's coming. Guess I'm not gonna be heading out anywhere tonight. That drink is already worn off, thank the divines. Never seen you before. I'm sorry, Leg Elf. I didn't mean to speak as rotten of you as I had. Hello? Are you? Oh. Sorry about that. The guy's just trying to do some work in his ship, and there I am, ready to fight him. like a cold blizzard to clear your head, huh? What do I do now, father? What do I... The boatman's still working? <laughs> He's gonna... freeze. There's no carriages that run up here, but there are boats. I need to get my room back before someone else rents it. Crap! Ah, it's getting cold. What oh, it's been cold, I'm just finally starting to feel it. <laughs> Looks like Saturalia. <laughs> Too bad there's no presents. <sighs> there you are. This is a local but and one of the first songs <sighs> I ever learned. Thorin. Hey, Frida. Thorin. Need a room? Did you give mine away? Don't worry. I'll take it. Sure thing. It's yours for a day. I'll show you to your room. I think I know the way by now. 
Such a nice little inn. I tell you, I tell you the dragon. Huh? I've been looking for you. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. The Oblivion you doing in here? Let's see here. Looks like that's it. Got to go. Did you wake me to give me more bad news? Yeah. What? That guy's as quick as a lesson. Thorin, when I'm sleeping, no one comes to my room. You hear me? Not a housekeeper, not a bard, and no Dagon couriers. Okay? Okay then. That guy. <laughs> that courier has a greater manhood than Talos. Uh, what's this Dagon thing say? Harvest's end, 27th last seed. The year has turned its circle. The seasons come and go. The harvest is all gathered in and chilly north wind blows. Taverns will be busy throughout the day, but free food and drinks will be available for all outside after 5 p.m.? Free food? The harvest celebration? I've never been. Wow. Thor, I'm sorry for yelling. I've never had a celebration. Keep my room for me, please. Happy harvest send. Great singing. You look at that father. Things begin to appear as bleak as ever and a celebration. And perhaps your spirit is nearby. Leg elf. The Hall of the Dead. I should at least go pay my respects. Yes, that is what I'll do. What? Is a bandit attack in the night? And you guys just left him here? You can't have bodies laying around for a celebration. I'm gonna have to move these out of the way. Come on. It was a celebration tonight, Bandit. You're not invited. Uh, there we go. Vampires and bandits beware. <laughs> this will serve as a message to the next people that want to raid this town. Now go to Sea Leg Elf. Whew, those guys were heavy. No Leg Elf. Poor guy. I mean, I get that he was just trying to make a living, but you don't have to rip someone off. You don't have to go around cursing them either just because they do. <sighs> it's cold out. Last time I stepped foot in this place was when Dad... Why is there an arrow stuck in the beach? Iron. Let's not get wet. Brought you in here, Father. They couldn't make it to the inn, so they decided to lay you out in the embalming table. They tried to save you. And they failed. At least they tried. The people of this town. They're good. Now where's Lake Elf? I don't think I've ever been inside of a hall of the dead. The thought of them always creeped me out as a child. Never had a reason to visit one as an adult. Look at all the bones just sitting there rotting. The stench. I suppose it could be worse. This is probably where they prepare them. When it's too cold outside to do so. Where would League Elf be? <laughs> Maybe I'm happy they burnt you on that pyre, Father. I'd rather have your soul in the wind than... riding down here for eternity for random people to walk in and gawk at you. <laughs> League Elf wouldn't be a skeleton yet. Not even close. Perhaps they keep... The bodies elsewhere until they properly decay. I don't know how the oblivion they do this stuff. I've never had to know. Perhaps I could sit at the altar and say a prayer for him. Or at least take a moment. 
I think this is the last room. The leg elf. I'm sorry, man. I tried to come and see you. Honor the earth, its creatures and the spirits, living and dead. Guard and tend the bounties of the mortal world, and do not profane the spirits of the dead. In the name of our divine Arche, may you rest in peace, Leg Elf. <laughs> may you have to break no more ore. And thank you for returning what was owed, even if it wasn't death. So many in this province take life for granted. So many take life. Forgive me for all that I've done, and for anything that I shall do. I guess that's it. Let's go see what this celebration's all about. That bard woman has a nice voice. But I hope she's not singing again. I could use a holiday from her. If I hear another Dagon Dragonborn song, I'm going to scream. <laughs> I didn't even realize that these were here. I thought my torch is out. They just stuff you guys in the holes in the wall. Yeah, father. I think they did you a justice. Burning you on the pyre. I've had enough of this place. Well, if I knew anything about celebrations, and I don't, I'd say it looks like a nice day for one. It's not snowing. And amazingly, it's not that cold. Yeah. <clears throat> Ooh, just got my boots wet. Ooh, that was close. I thought it was going to be deeper there for a moment. Time to go see what this thing's all about. Guard, there's a celebration. What are you doing? Those people must be headed over. I'm going to follow them. Afternoon. Happy Harvest Zen. Happy... Look at all the food. <laughs> the in hand is playing the drums. Look at Frida! She's already drunk! <laughs> oh, old lady Frida, I'll take a couple. Next time I need a drink, which won't be anytime soon, at least I won't have to pay for them. Frida, sit down before you fall over! I don't like taking huh? I've never even seen these. Those didn't look like any apples I knew, cheese and breads. I can just take what I want? <laughs> Gonna stock up for a little while. I love rabbit hunch. I don't want to take everything. I'll take a little bit of everything. <laughs> oh, leeks. Gourd. I've had a gourd since Riften. Oh, this is wonderful. Paxton had to eat until he was full. And then he drank water. <laughs> but he drank. And then he ate some more. He mingled with the people of Dawnstar for a bit. But mostly... He just stood there and stared. That many people together, celebrating, stumbling over one another, laughing and smiling and clapping and cheering. He had never seen such a thing. Perhaps it would be a long time before he would again. But perhaps Paxton finally found the home that he was always after, near his father's final resting place amongst the good people of Donstar. Perhaps.